Myron and Diane Kirsch have called the B'nai Shalom Temple in Quincy their spiritual home for more than 50 years. This is where they were married and where they raised their children in the faith they so dearly love. The story of the B'nai Shalom Temple is intimately connected to the history of Quincy. A cornerstone of the temple was laid in 1869, and the temple dedication in 1870 was a citywide celebration. There were parades all through town with the mayor, aldermen, all, all sorts of judges, and uh, they came here from the, from the old uh, uh, Baptist church they rented. Just before that dedication, the original synagogue, B'nai Abraham, was destroyed by fire. In 1871, after the dedication of B'nai Shalom, the two congregations decided to merge. Since 1871, this, this congregation thrived. It had, uh, there were 500 members at that time, and um, uh, it has just gone ever since. 1970 was a very special year for the temple. All of the items that were put into the cornerstone in 1970, uh, we had a 100th anniversary. And those items are in the back of the sanctuary in a, in a, uh, a case, so that they're for people to see. Some of those items include this selection of newspapers from 1869, this book listing the names of the original members of the congregation, and a selection of currency from the time, including these 25 and 50 cent notes. The temple continues to offer a spiritual home to Quincy's Jewish community. When I moved here a number of years ago, it was really important for me to find a place that I could have my children have Sunday school, uh, a place for them to prepare for their bar and bat mitzvahs, and a place for me to go on Friday nights and socialize with the members of the Jewish community. The fears of anti-Semitism that drove the city's original Jewish settlers from Europe never took root in Quincy. There's never been any uh, anti-Jewish feelings. In, in, in the community. It's just, uh, Quincy's a wonderful place. Stephen Johnson, KHQA News, Quincy.